you know, when you talk about Esai, uh, what he means to me and what he means to poker, um, the best way I can kind of start is with a story. You know, after I won the main event of the World Series of Poker, uh, we were talking about doing a sponsorship deal. Well, at the time, we didn't really know what a poker sponsorship meant. Like He didn't know what he should pay me. I didn't know what I should get. It, it was really uncharted territory. And uh, so we were riding in a car together, and we pretty much came to a handshake deal. Um, it was a two-year deal, and to be honest, it was a pretty bad deal. Um, but at the time, we didn't know it was a bad deal. It sounded like a good deal to me, and it sounded like a good deal to him. So we made a, a two-year deal. Well, obviously, poker exploded and started going bananas. And all of a sudden, you know, the site went from uh, a small poker site to one of the biggest in the world almost overnight. And Esai called me and said, hey, you know, your contract that we, we signed, we're going to go ahead and tear it up and redo a different one that's going to be more in line with the value that you've provided for the company. And he didn't have to do that. Um, you know, he went out of his way to, to take care of me and he did that with everybody that worked for the company. And that's why everybody loved him so much. He had an open door policy. I could always call him. Uh, I know everybody in the office could always call him and it was just a pleasure to work with. Um, and at the end of the day, he was also just a poker geek. He loved being in poker. He loved being on two plus two. He was all, you know, in the early days, he was around poker all the time, around the customer. So he saw what everybody was going through. But um, more than anything else, he made decisions that were based on the benefit of the player, not the company. Um, he put the company second and put the players first. And it really showed in how he ran the company and how it ran. Uh, he interacted with people. Um, everybody that worked for poker stars had to learn how to play poker they were given tests on how how to play poker and so everybody knew um what poker was in the company that's pretty rare he was a mentor he was someone that you know if i needed help or i needed an opinion i could call him up and he would be honest with me he took his time and he listened to people that gave him good advice a uh, very smart businessman that's why poker stars grew to what it was um, and honestly, it was just an honor to be able to work with him and be around him 